Welcome, welcome, welcome to another episode of 3D uh of, of 3D boxing. It's the boxing book. I'm losing my brain today, guys. It's already like 1 a.m. Uh this is I'm recording this after the ESPN card. Wanted to get you one more uh fight uh out for you. It's Lewis Crocker, Kona Walker. Forgive me for uh my fatigue. I, I am super tired. Like I said, it's 1 a.m. I'm still drinking coffee. I'm gonna record this, go to bed. I got an 8 a.m. flight back to Texas tomorrow. Um, let me get this out for y'all. Uh, Lewis Crocker, Gonna Walker. But before we get into that, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, or all forms of social media. The Boxing Book it comes out to you for every single major fight. So you had to consistently make money betting on the sport of boxing. The odds makers, the bookies, they don't know what they're doing. Uh, I do. Join the Patreon. Link is in the description. Just five dollars a month. Uh, Get to the lock of the week. We hit the lock of the week again this week. We're hitting it every single week. Uh, join the Patreon. It gets you, like I said, it's five dollars a month. It gets you the lock of the week. It gets you asked to book you anything. Get you all types of props. It's a free T-shirt, uh, updated props, updated uh, bets that aren't released when we do the video, especially when we do the videos earlier in the week. So join the Patreon. Five dollars a month. It gets you all the perks. Uh, also subscribe to your other channel, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. That's Texas Boxing Scene. All proceeds go to autism research and recovery. Uh, Lewis Crocker, Kona Walker, let's get into it. Entertaining fight, should be a good scrap. Two come forward guys, two pressure fighters. They should they should bang out in the middle of the ring. They should be good. Lewis Crocker, pressure fighter, come forward guy, strong, long, sits down on his shots, comes forward. He has some, some length, some reach to him. He's going to have an advantage in that category. With Kona Walker, he can use his feet a little bit to avoid shots, uh, especially on the inside. He gets out of range at short in, in the short range. He avoids your power shots. He, he, he's pretty good at that, and so that's something to keep your eye on. Uh, he, he, like I said, he uses his feet and some angles well to avoid shots and return fire. He keeps himself in punching position when he steps away. He stays in front of you, applies pressure, and cuts off the ring well. He, he's a better, he, he's more fundamental, he's more sound. He's a better pressure fighter than Kona Walker is. Not a lot of slipping, head movement. He's in front of you, he gets hit a lot. What he does do is he just kind of turns out of shots when he's in punching range pretty well. And he can, he can make you miss. Um, but other than that, his defense is flawed. I'm not saying Kona Walker isn't. We're going to get to Kona Walker in a minute. Don't get me wrong. Lewis, Clark, Lewis Crocker is, is, is a flat-footed, plotting type of guy. And volume can get him to show up. He stays on the attack, and, and he's pressuring you, and he's making you uncomfortable, but he's not really a big hitter. He wants to fight in the phone booth, and he's straight in and out. Like I said, not huge power, but he wants to sit and trade. I'm not sure who the bigger puncher is in this fight. Neither guy has, you know, special power. I, I think Crocker may – I mean, Walker may actually have the bigger one-punch power, but Crocker throws more in combinations. He throws more in volume than than Walker does. So, Crocker's a better fighter. Uh, Walker's dogged. Uh, we're going to get to Walker in a minute. Uh, I want him to use his jab a little bit more. Crocker's got reach, and I want him to box more, and I want him to use his jab more, and I, I don't want him – I want don't want him just to be strictly a pressure fighter, which I think he is. He also doesn't punch in between your punches. He plays a lot of you go, I go. So what I'm saying is Crocker is the better fighter, but he's also a flawed fighter. I want him to jab more. I want him to use that height and reach more. I want him to set things up off the jab more. And I, and I want him to punch in between your punches more. And I want him to move his head a little bit. But he does do things well. He does keep the pressure on. Can make you miss a little bit, like I said, in punching range. It's a little astute little thing that he does. His volume is pretty solid. He does, he's got a lot of pros and he's got a lot of cons too. Kona Walker, another pressure fighter, wants to be on the inside, constant pressure. Not real good at closing distance. I, I don't know that if Crocker fights the way I want him to, it could be an issue. I, I don't know if he's going to. I think Crocker wins the fight regardless. But I think he can make his life easier here if he uses his jab and he uses his reach advantage in this fight. Don't know if he will. Um, 
Crocker, a uh, Walker doesn't use his jab, doesn't jab his weight either. This is not going to be a, a jabbing contest. Like I can promise you that. Another straight in, straight out. The straight right hand is his best shot. From long range, he can land that straight right pretty clean. Selected with a shot. He doesn't throw in volume. He needs to jab more. I want he's short. I want him to double jab his way in. I want him to slip shots more. He doesn't really do things like that. He doesn't throw very many combinations. A lot of this one punch at a time. He's got slow feet. Not good at cutting off the ring. He's got a good chin. He, he's durable. But his head is on a line. He's very easy to hit. Doesn't have good feet. Gets a little wild. He's not accurate on the inside. His best shot is right hand from the outside. He doesn't have concussive power. His power seems to be okay. Uh, it's not huge power. Neither, I don't think either guy here has huge power. He also leaves a lot to be desired. Not good at closing distance. His head's on the line. He doesn't jab enough. But he applies pressure and he makes your life uncomfortable. Uh, we saw this with the Cyrus and Pattinson fight. The fight everyone thought he was going to lose. He got hustled them, outworked them. And, and was very durable in that fight. I don't think this is a very difficult fight to bet. You know, the only question is, does it go the distance or does Crocker get him out? I, I want to take a look at this together. Let's take a look at how to make it. I'm going to lay off. Uh, I think this is a great fight to put in your parlay because Crocker definitely wins. Minus 450, one times bet, makes it 22-22. We can get cute with this, but I'm 50-50 on how this fight ends. I think it goes the distance. I kind of like the over at minus 160. I kind of like that. I'm okay if you do that too. You take the over. I'm fine with that bet. It would make you $62. Therefore, a $200 bet would make you $84, $85. It's not bad. On something I think is relatively safe. Uh, if you want to add something to your parlay just to bring your odds down, odds down I like Lewis Crocker in the spot. He's better than Conor Walker. He should win this fight, and he should win it, I think, relatively easily. He might make his life more difficult, but even in a difficult fight, he wins this fight. If they sit in the phone booth and trade, Crocker's better. If he uses his jab and he uses his reach, it's a much easier fight, and he may get a stoppage because he's going to catch Walker coming in. He's going to catch him coming in so clean so often with big shots. Uh, but I, I like Crocker, and I like it to go over. That's what I like. Let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Remember to join the Patreon. Link is in the description. It's also in the banner below. Just five dollars a month. It gets you locked in a week. It gets you the updated props. It gets you all the perks. It adds to book you anything. A free t-shirt. All of the perks. Um, it is, what is it? It is June 22nd, 2024. From Texas to the world. Thank you. And God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.